Hi everyone, I am back filming another video. I did this intro earlier, but I just watched it and it's like such a hot mess. My baby is crawling on the floor, making super loud sounds. So I'm just gonna kind of redo this intro. I'll go back and show you what I ate for breakfast because now it's the afternoon. But today I'm doing a what I eat in a day video. I wanted to come back to this channel because I have fun making these videos. The biggest reason I haven't been posting on here or why my posting has been so crazy is because just technology issues. I had a really old iPhone. I don't have a fancy vlogging camera or a camera at all. I'm literally filming all of these on my iPhone, but my last iPhone was so old, it just was not working. I started this channel two years ago, which is so funny, and my phone just got progressively worse and worse. Now, the good news is I have a new iPhone that has lots of storage, that has a better camera that I'm super excited to film on. However, I just realized this morning when I went to film this video that my microphone I was using plugged into the headphone jack of my old iPhone. And as we know, Apple, we do not have headphone jacks in the new iPhones anymore. So long story short, I am using my AirPods for a mic today, which I know is horrible and the sound is probably so bad, but I just wanted to get this video up. I wanted to get some content up on here just to like produce videos and just keep posting stuff so that I keep this going just for myself mostly. But anyways, that's why the sound is bad today. I need to figure out that mic situation. I don't have one of the adapters yet. So anyways, I will figure out the mic, but today I wanted to post a video even though the sound is bad. So I apologize for that. Um, anyways, so here we are. We are back, back in my messy kitchen with bad lighting, with bad sound, but that's not what this channel is about, right? This channel is about learning about celiac disease, learning about gluten-free food. Um, a lot of the videos I want to do, I really like these what I eat in a day videos. I hope that will inspire you guys, especially while we're in quarantine right now. Um, when I'm filming this, geez, how long has it been? I think we're on the sixth week of quarantine, which is crazy, but I think this has made a lot of people um, want more meal ideas since we're all kind of stuck at home in our kitchen. So I want to show you what I'm cooking, give you quick, easy gluten-free meal ideas. So I want to do a lot of that and also just take you with me throughout my day while I'm eating. So I will show you the clip from earlier of what I ate for breakfast. I decided to film it after I actually ate breakfast. So I'm just showing you like the ingredients. Anyways, go watch that. Here's what I ate for breakfast. Hilarious, I know, because it's just on my messy counter. And this is just... um the ingredients and not even what I ate because I already ate it. But I just want to tell you, so I had oatmeal this morning. I used to have oatmeal a lot. I've been getting really sick of it, but my baby likes it and we kind of eat the same thing for almost every meal. So I just made it for both of us. Um, yeah, she agrees. She liked her oatmeal. So I have been using these Quaker Oats. Oh, they're not my favorite, but right now during quarantine and I've been doing Walmart pickup so I don't have to go to a store. I've been getting these because they're cheap. They're at Walmart. They're not bad. Um, I just don't like them as much as like Bob's Red Mill or there's some other ones that are organic that are good, but these work just for quick what I need and I feed them to my baby. So I had that this morning. I've been using an unsweetened vanilla almond milk. I always, I yeah, I always use almond milk with my oats. So I just like add these two together, put them in the microwave for two minutes. And that's about what I do. I've been using the unsweetened vanilla cause I actually like the added, it's not sweet, like there's no sugar in it, but the added vanilla flavor I actually like. Then I sweeten it with uh, maple syrup. It's basically usually what I always do with oatmeal is I just cook it, add maple syrup, sometimes a little bit of brown sugar. And so I added maple syrup and then I added some blackberries and blueberries. And then I added this, which now it is an empty bag. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of this company, Safe and Fair. I really like them. They used to just be online, but I actually got this bag of granola at Target. I'm such a sucker for, sorry, this is shaky because I'm holding my child. Um, <laughs> I'm such a sucker for birthday cake things, such as birthday cake granola. You think so? Yeah, this birthday cake granola is really good. So it's kind of weird I add granola to my oatmeal, but I really like it because it makes it like crunchy and not just a mushy texture. So I put in the fruit and then I threw granola on top. Oh, she's got a lot to say. And that is what I had for breakfast this morning. So there's what I ate for breakfast. Now it is, geez, what time is it? It's noon, baby is asleep for hopefully a little bit longer, which is why I'm filming right now. Jeez, these AirPods, they're really cute, really cute mic. Um, oh, anyways, you know that this channel is just a hot mess and I'm just gonna like roll with that because I think so many channels or even just Instagram, we all know that no one's life is perfect, right? But we still like 
watch these people's lives and they kind of look perfect. I really like watching vlogs that are just messy anyways and people's real life. So that's the flow I'm going with on here. <laughs> Shaky video, bad sound, whatever. Okay, so I'm gonna go find a snack because I'm starving right now. I usually eat lunch when my baby wakes up, probably in like a half hour. So I'm gonna grab a snack. We'll go talk about my snack options here and then um, yeah, we'll go on with that. All right, here's my fancy snack. I'm having an ABC bar. I really like these from Trader Joe's. Gluten-free, vegan, my baby likes them too, so I buy them for both of us. So here's my snack before lunch, having an ABC bar. All right, here's what we have for lunch today. <laughs> I'm realizing how funny my lunches are when I'm like eating the same things as my baby. So these are mostly for baby, also for me. I share them with her. These are actually my favorite gluten-free just chicken nuggets. They just don't have a weird taste to them to me. They're dino nuggets, so they're cute. I get these from Walmart. I really like these a lot. Um, and then I eat them. My favorite thing to eat them with is just honey mustard sauce. This one does have a tiny little gluten-free on the back, but I eat this stuff with a lot, but I have little chicken nuggets. And then for me, trying to be a little bit healthier and tried to give some of these to my baby, but that didn't work out great. Um, these I also got from Walmart, from doing Walmart pickup. Okay, I usually would hate any like steamed or just warmed up veggies, but this is actually weirdly good. I think they put like a little bit of seasoning and olive oil on it. This is an example of something that does not say gluten-free, but the ingredients there don't worry me at all. I feel fine eating it. So I just warmed this up, which again, normally warmed up frozen vegetables sounds disgusting, but then I put it on some leftover quinoa, added some salt and pepper, and it's actually not bad. So that is for lunch today. Okay, update, eating this quinoa and veggies. It's not great. <laughs> you probably looked at it and were like, that looks gross. It's not great, but I can eat pretty gross stuff. Like, I actually like healthy stuff usually, so it's not too bad for me. I think it could use some sort of dressing or something, um, but it's not horrible. I like having just leftover quinoa in my fridge because then I just throw stuff on it like this. That's a typical lunch for me. There's a baby next to me eating. Um, and the chicken nuggets, yeah, those are just a typical lunch for us around here. So I know this is like weird, but we usually have something frozen that I'm like, hmm, that's not too healthy. And so I try to throw in something healthy with it. So, update on the lunch situation. What do you think? How are chicken nuggets? Yeah, are they good? Yeah. Yeah, they're good. Sometimes these what I eat in a day videos feel a little funny because <laughs> the stuff that I'm eating, I'm like, I don't really want to have to stop and film this, but you're watching what I eat in a day. So I'm having for a snack a banana, but since I'm... I don't know guys, it's just quarantine and I just like, I need Nutella at 4 p.m. also. So I'm having a banana and Nutella for my afternoon snack, <laughs> super healthy. But yeah, it's like 3.30, I usually get snacky around then. So baby and I are gonna have some banana, super exciting. I also wanna add one thing about Nutella. I don't usually actually own Nutella, I actually got this little jar sent to me for free from influencer i got a jar of nutella so why not um i don't usually eat nutella what i would normally do right now which is a very common snack for me is just to grab a banana and eat it with some peanut butter on it like not cute i just like literally <laughs> that's what i do my favorite peanut butter i'm sure it's in one of these videos because i do it all the time it's from earth balance and it's peanut butter i get the crunchy with coconut oil in it I've always been a peanut butter fan, but once I discovered that, I couldn't go back. And that one peanut butter is only available at one store that I haven't gone to. I've been trying not to go to stores. And recently, like last week, six of their employees got diagnosed with COVID. So I haven't been able to go to that store and haven't been able to get my peanut butter. So I was just sitting here thinking, why am I eating Nutella? Then I realized it's because I would always eat peanut butter right now, but I don't have that. So Nutella is my peanut butter replacement, clearly not as healthy and packed with way more sugar. So I just want to throw that out there and say normally bananas and peanut butter is my like go-to. I just eat a quick filling snack. I eat that all of the time, but today we're going with this. So it's really cute. Okay, everyone, it's time for dinner now. Um, I just started cooking dinner. I'm making something tonight that I've never made before, so I'll share it with you, but if it's horrible, then maybe don't make it. We'll see. Um, it's called an egg roll in a bowl with ground turkey. So I'll show you all the ingredients I have here. So we just have some 
onion, carrots. This is to make like a sauce. We're gonna saute this, add some cabbage and carrots, garlic and ginger. Here's all the ingredients. Um, I'll start cooking it and then show you the process. It's not the simplest meal I've ever made, but it's not too bad either. This cabbage was kind of annoying to wash and shred. You could just buy shredded cabbage, it would be much easier. I use frozen garlic and ginger to make that 10 times easier. And then I just chopped up these carrots, chopped up this onion. And so we're gonna try this out for dinner. I'm gonna try to do like step-by-step step of this dinner. Uh, so far I have uh, sauteed and cooked the ground turkey in some toasted sesame oil. Um, cooked that for a minute and then I just added garlic and onions. Gonna cook that for a minute. Then in a second I will add the ginger and then the veggies. And uh, yeah, that's where we're at. Okay, here's our current status. We have added the carrots, cabbage, and then soy sauce. And now I'm just kind of waiting for those veggies to cook. I almost feel like the veggies should have gone in before the meat, but I was just following the recipe I have. Now I'm just kind of wait for the veggies to cook. And then once that is all cooked, I'm going to crack an egg in the middle, scramble that and add that to it. And then that's pretty much it. So, Again, I'm not sure how this is going to turn out, but we're just going to keep going with it and we'll see. Okay, here is the final outcome. I haven't tasted it yet, so I'll let you know when I taste it. Uh, it looks okay. I'm a little bit sad how much the cabbage wilted because, I don't know, it looks kind of sad. But we'll taste it and see how it is. Okay, the verdict, like my husband said, tastes like an egg roll. It basically does just taste like an egg roll in a bowl. It actually tastes better than it looks. It's pretty good. I really like this mayo that's on it that's made with this um, it? This chili garlic sauce and then you mix mayo and salt with it. That actually is really good. I didn't think it was gonna be that good, but it's, it's good. It's not my favorite thing I've ever made in the world, but it's actually really delicious. So there's a meal idea. What? <laughs> there's a meal idea if you're looking for something or you're bored like we are and wanna make something new. One more update. My husband just said he loves us a lot, so that's pretty good. I think the reason, I really like it. The reason I'm not like loving it is because I'm not a huge meat person and it is a lot of turkey. So, but if you're a meat person, you might love it a lot. Okay, wait, I just thought of, oh my gosh, <laughs> the floor, oh, having a child. Okay, I just thought of one more thing. Um, If you're watching my videos and you're like new to gluten-free, I kind of talk about soy sauce and just assume everyone knows I'm talking about gluten-free soy sauce, but just wanted to point out that soy sauce has gluten, which is honestly one of the things I didn't know when I got diagnosed. And it's one of the obnoxious things. Like, I just don't understand why regular soy sauce has to have wheat. So that's them. So this is actually my favorite brand is the Sanjay uh, Tamari. There's a bunch of different kinds, but as long as it says Tamari and it's gluten-free soy sauce and you read the ingredients, I have seen some soy sauce that doesn't actually say gluten-free, but just doesn't have wheat. I, I don't know. I would always go with the ones that actually say gluten-free, but it tastes the exact same as regular soy sauce. So any recipes that have soy sauce in it, you can always replace with this. And if you thought I was done eating at dinner, you were incorrect, my friend, because especially while we've been stuck at home, I've been baking a lot at night or just eating dessert. So tonight at my husband's request, who loved these cookies last time I made them, I am making cookies. I got this recipe from a girl that I follow on Instagram. Um, it's called Clean Monday Meals. It's her uh, Instagram handle. I will put that down below. She has some really good, uh, she's celiac and she also does like meal prepping. So she's a cool account to follow to get a lot of good recipes. She posted this cookie recipe and it's awesome. Um, so I'll show you a little bit of the steps, but mostly you can find that recipe. They're just kind of basic cookies, but there's a few extra steps to make them really delicious. So anyways, we are baking cookies tonight. So really the thing that made these cookies unique to me was the fact that, um, well first off I'll talk about the flour I use. Um, in her recipe she uses cup for cup flour. I don't know if you guys know that one. It's probably the most popular gluten free flour. I truly think it's the best. Um, unfortunately I just haven't been able to find it and also it's expensive. This one is a lot cheaper so I've been getting this King Arthur flour. I really like this one for making muffins. I've also made brownies with it that were really good. These cookies, they're good with this flour, but I think they would be better with cup for cup. Like, I, they still have a little bit of that, like, gluten-free flavor, and the cup for cup flour does not. So, I'm using this flour, and it works, but the cup for cup is better. 
So here's the flower I'm using. In this recipe, there's regular flour and then there's what is called cake flour. I did not know this was a thing, but basically you sift together um, your regular flour and also cornstarch. Um, I don't have a sifter, so I just use this. So basically, and I didn't even really know what sifting was. Anyways, you combine those two, two tablespoons of cornstarch and um, the flour, and you just like sift them together in here like this, you know, you do it three different times. And you come out with this, which is like this very fine, I don't know, it's called cake flour. So it has some of this and then some of the regular flour. And that makes these a little extra special, I think. So I got my sugar going here. I'm going to add the butter and do that. And I will show you what these look like when I'm done. PSA, these are some of my favorite chocolate chips and they're certified gluten-free. Here is the final product. Strangely, I usually love cookies right out of the oven, but these ones for some reason in particular, and she said this in the recipe too, to let them cool before you eat them. I do let them cool a minute before I eat them because for some reason with this specific recipe, it actually tastes better when you do that, but they are delicious cookies. All right, let's taste the cookie. Pretty good. Alright, I'm pretty sure that's the last thing I'm gonna eat today. Cookies and milk. So there was my day and all the things I ate. I hope it was super thrilling and exciting. And I'll see you in my next video.